Welcome ladies and gentlemen here to Vanilla TV as we have an awesome Night of Team Fortress 2 action. I would like to say in store for you, but actually had has already happened because earlier today we already saw the grand final and now we're going to be up with a regular league game. Oh, that's uninteresting, you would like to say, because a grand final is so much more awesome. Well, we have a little bit of a cool league game in the grand final up here to be nothing short of just a face wash. Um, so, I brought, well, we got the good game for today. Let's put it that way. James, how are you doing today? I'm good. Just trying to figure out what a what a face wash is, but... Uh... Ah, face wash uh, works. For <laughs> I'm, I'm English. I would have said whitewash, you know. I would have said whitewash. Same but, uh, thing. Face wash might be the new thing. Maybe mouthwash. Maybe like a car wash. A game was a total car wash. A to game was a total car wash. Let's, let's... <laughs> there you go. But, got, yeah. It was a car wash. Let's you know what it. I love about that, man? You know what I really love about that? Is that it was Ark's idea to have a random draw and he got to cast the shit it, final. Yeah, you, you Suck a what? dig. I, I, I think. <laughs> I, to be honest, I think the Vanilla Team organization has done that on purpose. I'm not gonna lie, I think they, they uh, managed to do that. But, 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 um, let's all talk about that game. Everyone here has seen that game. Um, we're gonna watch this game, and, and as you guys can see on the screen, we have a little bit of a, of a game in store for you with, once again, the French people from Pyrogen, but up against a really mix of people coming out from Quarantine, and Quarantine is gonna be playing in the blue today, Pyrogen is gonna be playing in the red. And this is not even week one, this is week two. Obviously, since we saw Pyrogen playing against Broder just a couple of days ago, uh, which you can also, f uh, which you actually were able to see here in Vanilla Sphere. I don't know if you caught that, but me and James were casting that, and we're going to be casting the second game of Pyrogen this season as well. Uh, week two features Batlands and Snakewater. Um, now, Snakewater is something I don't think we have seen that for quite a bit of time, James. Yeah, true. Uh, maybe the last time was in the. Season 13 finals, pretty sure we picked it on a couple of the playoff games, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it being played again now that we've got the gunboats and the uh, the escape plan, see how things have changed. It doesn't really seem to affect middles too much, there are some interesting skip jumps and things like that you can do across the point if you want to get that soldier aggression out, but... Uh, yeah, I'm interested. I like Snake War, man. I'm not gonna lie, but it, it, it looks like it could be Badlands first. Have you played? Yeah, they are gonna do Badlands first, uh, according to the, um, according to like the ETF12 match page. It's Badlands and Snake War, and usually teams. I don't know about you in, with Crackland, but usually teams. That was always my habit. So, like, just do the first map first. Makes sense. I don't know why, but it just does. Uh, how much Snake War have you played with Crackland already this season? A lot of uh, PCWs, or uh, from here and there. Just this week. It really, once the main season starts, you know, your practice is pretty much dictated by what games people have to play. So week one, everybody was playing Badlands, Gullywash, and now this week, everyone's been playing Badlands and Snake War. It sort of sucks for us because our first game was wildcard, and now we're trying to get someone to play Gullywash. Yeah, it's, it's Wait, always a little bit of a weird scenario. <laughs> we had a but then again, standoff with Quarantine the other <laughs> night where they refused to play it, and we just. And they ended up leaving the server after one map, but that was weird. A bit of willy weaving going on there. But yeah, right. Snake Order, it's getting played for sure. Is, is there any sort of difference? Like, are, is there, uh, now with the gunboats, uh, escape plan, pain train, uh, overdose, whichever ma whichever weapons are all in there, does it make a difference on Snake Water, like, rollout-wise? Uh, not really on the rollout, I find. But once you get to middle, I think there are some fast rides you can do, but we haven't really explored it. Especially as a rumor, like you've seen the Americans like DFAC doing crazy shit jumping through the kitchen and stealing med packs. But I'm not sure if anyone in Europe has really upped their game to that level yet. I think the main effect of the gunboats is all this sort of distraction replay. Mm -hmm. So you'll see one soldier jumping in and faking out and just drawing your attention a little bit. Hi, and then. It sounds great, to be fair. Like, the, the one thing that pops into my head is that you let one soldier, like, jump through the window from second to middle on the rollout and then let him make a speed jump across the point. It seems like if you do that with gunboats, you can reach their medics so unbelievably quickly onto middle. I don't know if there's some sort of weird tactic that we're going to see from either of these teams. That was something that popped into my head in the preseason. Like, maybe we can do something gunboaty with that, because obviously you don't need the biggest buff, so you can still uh, keep going. Either way, it looks like we now finally have 12 people in the server. Uh, Batlands is a map we saw both of these teams earlier on this season. Quarantine got absolutely car washed by BFF. Um, nothing short of that. I think it was 18 minutes with a 4-5 to nil. It, it was not close whatsoever. And Power Jump managed to do alright 
we were costing them um, a couple of days ago against Brodar. They weren't too bad. And especially their middles, like on both maps, were actually reasonably strong. Um, so for me, the real question today is, James, and, and I'm not sure if you agree with this, how well are quarant how well is Quarantine going to fare against Paragen on the middle specifically? Because if Quarantine can get an edge somewhere, it will probably be on those middles. If they win a couple, I think they're going to be in good shape. If they lose a lot, I think Paragen is just going to steamroll over them. Yeah, I feel like Pyrogen would be my pick for both maps. Uh, I just think when it comes down to it, they're going to out-deathmatch Quarantine, and they're prepared to play aggressive, whereas Quarantine generally like to play a bit more passive and wait for some big advantages. Whenever that Quarantine actually do try and play aggressive, I feel like a lot of the times it doesn't work out for them because it's not the style they're used to playing, and quite often because they play the way they do, they end up behind in situations, you know, because maybe they're not the strongest deathmatchers, they're going to end up behind and they're forced into these situations where mm -hmm. they realise, wow, we need to try and get three rounds in ten minutes and just never seems to work out for them. So I'm thinking Pyrogen, just they're going to be stronger all round. I, th I think a lot of people who have watched the game against Broder and obviously know what Quarantine has been going through, like they recently picked up Kuichi. Uh How do you say that, by the way? Because it's a Dutch name, I know exactly how to pronounce it, but I don't know how English people pronounce that, so it might be a little bit weird. Kuichi. Uh, Kuichi. Yeah, there Kuchi. you go. Um, it, it's a little bit different in Dutch, obviously, but... Um, that's pretty much it. I like he he got picked up recently. Uh, he's playing a scout and, and like yeah, of course, individually they're they're all players who have a reasonable amount of experience playing at a reasonably high level. And we're gonna have to wait and see how this is gonna pan out. And right now we are live indeed as we have quarantine now in the blue taking on against Pyrogen who's playing in the red. This is week two of ETF Twelve season fourteen, powered by Twitch TV. Uh, obviously, what you're watching right here. We're gonna have to see how this game fares. Batlands is map one. Snakewater's map two with. Play Legend Admirable taking you through the game. And Admirable, this middle looks very aggressive for Pyrogen. Yeah, Quarantine just playing as they tend to. They sit back so far, they don't try and commit any players to the point, and they basically just trade it with Pyrogen initially, and then were able to come forward from that sort of position of strength of just holding defensively in the house, move forward and get two more frags. And they uh, lost both their scouts, sure, but uh, I mean, they've got the middle. Effectively for free, Boulay sitting on 70% here, Crits Knight on 100, and I think Pyrogen will definitely try and defend the Spire. With those scouts down for quarantine, it meant they didn't have that sort of momentum where they could push forward onto Spire. So now they're in for a real struggle here, a real battle. We'll see how Pyrogen defend this one. Yeah, the quarantine actually took a little bit of a while actually getting there. They played a very safe, so it gave Pyrogen the opportunity to just get that uber ready, make sure that they're all in position to defend this. It looks like they might be a little out of position, especially with Salt going down. The ubers get exchanged, but I'm definitely going to have to favor quarantine here. They look a much better positional-wise, and Pyrogen, even on health, is just below quarantine. If they try and defend this, I think they're just going to get completely not mopped out, and that's exactly what happens. Exxon goes down, T-Mac goes down, uh, Bull Bully barely actually getting out of there. We're going to struggle with the name again today. As uh, we're going to see Quarantine. Crits and I does get taken down. Is it going to matter though? No, it does not. As Kuichi and Lime just rushing onto that point. Getting the cap down. 1-0 in favour of Quarantine after just a couple of minutes. Uh, Pyrogen really need to just recognise how Quarantine play here. That they're going to sit back and not overcommit and like suicide players onto this sort of turtly defence. They just need to walk forward onto the point and play it like a slow but steady progression. Right now, they're just doing a lot of damage to Fu there. He's been forced back, and that means that Quarantine Soldiers are trying to take the pressure off here as they jump in. They're doing a lot of damage, actually, onto Salt, who is just about gone down to Coach's Scattergun. Now the scouts come in from Quarantine in the flank, and Pyrogen are just falling apart on every middle. Six I'm frags. My words. No, no, actually five frags for scouts and one finished off from the Devilman. That was the roundup for that middle. It's the scouts in quarantine just doing massive amounts of work. And Pyrogen, definitely, they need to watch out for those middles. As I said in the pregame, I really feel that if quarantine can get a couple of straight middles off, they're going to be fine in this game. But they need to make sure that they keep winning those middles. So far, Pyrogen has done nothing right on those middles. Didn't get any pick, didn't get anything sort of relevant. And quarantine is going to be knocking on Paragen's last here in just a matter of seconds. Yeah, we got a sniper here from Alma, aka Pikalash, watching main. He's going to try and find that medic head to equalize that Uber disadvantage. But right now, Crit tonight is heading up top. He's not in sniper line of sight. They've Ubered scouts in there, expecting the pyro there. They're going to lead with a scout and a demo. 
try and pick that pyro. They haven't even managed to frag him and the Uber is feared. A bit of a fail execution there from quarantine, but Fu does get a nice pipe onto Excellent Salt. He has been taken out. Points, actually, the Scout's pressure in the point as well. He's ah. dead at his stickies. Once nice reset, new stickies. But this uh, could go either way. They still haven't realized the demo man's up there or else they're just not responding to the calls. Fu finally realizes there's more stickies coming onto the point, but... <laughs> Exxon gets finished off by a direct shot upwards from Kochi and uh, Kuichi. Well, Quarantine are just looking strong, man. Yeah, they're looking very, very strong. 2 to nil leads, very much straight off the bat. No no hesitation in their team whatsoever. They're not taking it safe, they're just going. They wait, on mill specifically, they wait for Pyrogen and just punish their aggression as much as possible. Gonna be looking at T-Mac, how much is he gonna be able to do this middle? He jumps onto the enemy train, kind of backs off. You can see him not going all the way in. How is Quarantine gonna deal with this though? It looks like so far this middle, a little bit more even. Deegan gets a double, Elma gets a third, so that's the scouts from Pyrogen doing a lot of work here as they get a fourth from the scouts as well. Is Elma gonna be able to get a, get a number five here? It looks like he might just do here in a matter of seconds. Five kills for the Pyrogen Scouts, and Crit tonight the last player standing for the people in blue. That was uh, all the Pyrogen soldiers for me. That Right at the start of the middle, Fu would actually dominate Exxon. He forced him back. He put a sticky right beside the rock. Both Scouts jumped into it, so like that was Demo and Scouts who just had to step back for a second for Pyrogen. But in came T-Mac and Salt just created so much space, did so much damage. Got that Demo Man down and just turned that middle around. It looked bad at the start, but Pyrogen... Finally getting a little bit of wind in their sails, man. Let's see, 100% Uber is going to come out for crit. Tonight we have the sentry gun being able to get constructed on the bottom right-hand side of the defensive area. Which Quarantine is setting up at this moment in time. Zap is running that sniper as well. Seeing if they can get a pick here and there. It looks like they are going to get like the double body shot next on taking him down. I don't think Pyrogen is going to mind all that much, though. I think they're probably going to play a little bit defensive until X on his back up. Uber. They forced the quarantine wow. Uber, they're trying to get aggressive and push out here off that demo man pick. And this is a total fail Uber. Now the soldier gets launched sky high lemon on the point here. That's Calho. He's surfing around, he's might get the force here, he's landed one now. <laughs> he does, he gets the force there onto Vule who now urges his team to push down main and try and make something of this Uber, but I think they're just not gonna get anything done with it. Now they're gonna try and probably get a pick here and there, maybe see if they can push on something, but it looks like Apart from the sentry, that might just be it. We can see a lot of pressure from the French. He's in red coming into this point, but Fuo gets the double kill onto the point. We see Salt with the escape plan coming in from the back. Salt with the escape plan is going to get shut down by Fuo there. And I think Paragen overextended quite a bit there. But looking at the Uber percentages, it's not too far behind. And I think Paragen, oh, actually, if Bully goes down here, that's a very bad scenario. He does go, get taken down. And Calho with the rocket launcher now on top of that spire, being able to cap off the spire will be a huge win for quarantine i think they can push up pretty much straight off the bat and uh, pretty much conquer this middle point no problem whatsoever yeah that was definitely foolhardy from pyrogen like i said it they shouldn't push like the uber just didn't take them into the last point there there was no need to go in there but they just went a little bit headstrong and went for it anyway and they got punished quarantine is just solid in defense and now they're pushing back, they take Inspire, they're pushing on the middle here, times four, a soldier bombs in, optimistic, but Quarantine's crit tonight, pops immediately, he's shit scared. And that is a big uber Almost. advantage now for Bully. Almost sitting under the middle at the moment, he's going to sneak in behind, I'm not really sure what Alma's going to do here. Uh, for anyone wondering, Alma is Pika Lash, he's going to come in right behind now. Let's see if he's going to be able to get a pick on crit tonight or anything. He does show up, did he get spotted yet? No, he did not get spotted. Now he comes in behind, gets one, gets two shots on him, gets three shots on him, but he's not down. 9 HP on crit tonight, as he's going to stay alive there, where Pyrogen did more or less successfully manage to defend this Spire. Even though he got capped off, the exchange was easy. Even uh, ah, they're not gonna fight it like they did. Uh, did end up going all the way back. I think four versus four. They could have been all right, especially with the super advantage. But they did opt to run out. Bule does have the Uber advantage here, but I don't think in any sort of way that Uber advantage is big enough in order to make something happen against the people in blue. Yeah, uh, Quarantine are gonna maybe try and take advantage of the fact there's no demo man up. S attempted skip jump onto the point there, trying to make a play happen, but they've left themselves open on the flank as Alma comes in, picks up Fu and forces the Uber. Pyrogen pop off in return, but it's one player down a piece. No demo man though for Quarantine means they're gonna have trouble making any sort of play here and might actually lead to Pyrogen considering pushing out, but both teams on an even Uber percentage right now, 20% in the bank. And the frags are still coming in as this last push is getting really drawn out. Fu is back in the game now, but already Kryptonite is down, Lemon's down, and Kochi's down. They're trying to make a play for the point. Here comes that demo man, those all-important stickies. But Fu has thought twice about this. He's got to back off, and 
hopefully save himself. But seven, seven, I'm watching the pistol. Boom, no, there's no pistol. Well. Oh my god. I didn't realise both medics went down. I didn't see Bully going down either. Oh, we both missed that, I guess. I'm so <laughs> can see the assault right now. Force fire is happening, but obviously without a medic, you can say bye-bye to that spire, so you're going to have to hold last here. And probably, I can only assume there's a pyro. Yeah, there we go. Alma is going to run that pyro. Um, we've seen Pyrogen do this against Broder multiple times. Where they love running that pyro if they have a slight disadvantage or a big disadvantage. Yeah, it's like... I think it's a responsibility, they're called Pyro Generation, they've got to run the Pyro now and again, man. I think it could be in their contracts, they have to play Pyro at least once per round. And uh, <laughs> right now, Quarantine have, actually have a little bit of an advantage, but I'm not sure if they realise that. They'll probably push on the button anyway, but the Boulay seems well positioned at the door. If they're not pushed in already, he's probably not going to die. 93, 95%, he's going to get it, but... He doesn't even drop a single player. Nice over there from Boulay, but there's a scout on the point. They've got to play super close there. He hasn't gone down yet. The soldier's out of rockets. Calho coming in bottom right hand side. Calho's up top right hand side, and it looks like Quarantine is going to go for that. No one on the point just yet. Medic steps onto the point. Well played by Boulay, stepping on the point himself, making sure that point does not get captured. Now with just Crit tonight, is the medic alive? He is under assault already as well. The Spire is going to get capped. Is Crit tonight actually going to be able to get out of there? No, he does not. As he catches a sticky coming out from the French Devilman Exxon and Power. Gen looks to be coming back into this round slightly, 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 but really right now they cannot afford any mistakes anymore. Yeah, at this stage, the remaining players for Quarantine, they're faced with a choice here. Do they try and go in and make some hero play and pick the medic, or do they just stay alive and give them six players to defend the Spire? And I'd, I'd encourage them to stay alive here, and it looks like they're going to do that after Zappos has gone down. Like, even though there's a big uber disadvantage here, you can still buy so much time as long as you have five, six players up. And they're going to try and at least get the uber popped here. That's the minimum they want from this, if not like some picks, stakes from Pyrogen. But already they've allowed them through uncalled on that right side. And look how the, the quarantine combo is saved at Foo and Crits and I are forced back to last. But so many players are trapped. Lemon's gone down, Kochi's gone down. This is totally unnecessary. But... Mm, see, Pyrogen are just going to push it anyway. They've already got their medic on last. I mean, that was just... Total lack of coordination there from Quarantine, they deserve to lose that round. I think Quarantine just messed that defense up completely, they did not respond accordingly to that reset push, and they really just lost simply because of that. They were out of position, they were confused, I'm quite sure the communication was messed up, and the third round goes in favor of the team in red. 2-1 to one is going to be the score, and in favor of Quarantine, fourth middle coming up, so far two middles for Quarantine, one middle for Pyrogen, how is this round going to go? Yeah, I see the, the scouts of Pyrogen putting pressure on the Foo, was backed off into the house. You see that quite a lot on this Badlands Middle. Quarantine's Kritzenite and Foo just hiding in that house, letting the other players do some work. Now Kritzenite's coming underneath now, he's getting targeted down by Devilman and scouts. Somehow they got forced onto the floor there, tried to push Slope, but they didn't have any other distractions, so they immediately got focused down. Maybe just a poor decision, but Pyrogen now getting into the swing of things. Once more, they've lost around, they've won around, lost around, now they're... Looking like they could win this one. Big uber advantage as they push forward onto the Spire, Paddy boy. Very confused about that push from Quarantine when, when they went underneath. They had no distraction, as you said. And it just made sure that they got picked off. And Pyrogen happily saying, thank you very much for suiciding your lives into our hands. That means we don't actually have to push. We can just pick you off one by one. Taking the Spire here immediately as well. No contest no contest uh, whatsoever. Alma does get taken down. Quite a bit of stickies from Fluo flying in. Crit tonight is half HP. But Pyrogen doing what they did last round, which is just rushing last when Quarantine is out of position. So far, Quarantine has responded perfectly, though. Crit tonight does not have Uber whatsoever. 75%. He's going to need an Uber Soul in order to stay alive here, I guess. Unless his team could just clutch onto the fringe. And yes, they can. Two scouts still alive, though. Not the easiest of scenarios for Quarantine to push out on this, but they did spot accordingly. Scout and Devilman spotting Alma there on the flank, and there's no backup going to happen whatsoever. And even Crit tonight still having the Uber Admiral. I think that's just the inexperience of Pyrogen showing up there. Like they had it, this full Uber advantage, uh, quarantine without Uber holding top lobby. There's a couple of ways you can try and break that, but they basically tried to walk in and not Uber at all, and in the process lost two players. I mean, you can trade your Uber for a player advantage, but they chose to just hold their Uber and lose players. Add. Uh, didn't work out at all for them, I don't know what they were thinking, but they went for it anyway, just kept throwing players after that per exchange, and right now Quarantine are pushing in here and looking like they're going to take middle, the Uber has been popped off as well, bit of a defensive one I think there from Kritzenite, 
And now they're streaming forward, they're going to get that cap, they might even get some more frags, but for tonight and Fu need to make sure not to overextend. Fu already on that spire, trying to force out the combo. Salt and Degon in the lobby there. They might try and block this Fu's taking a little bit of damage on spire, but there's no real coordination here as we see yeah, they're T-Mac jumps they're in alone. Try. Here we go, as the 100% uber is going to happen, and he doesn't even have to uber just yet. They're very patient with this uber, James. I love this. Um, one thing I want to touch on, though, I think Pyrogen, they, they kept their scouts on the floor for a long time. Couldn't defend that Spire properly, uh, but it looks like barely in the nick of time they're going to be able to make that. Fuos down, Zapsis goes down. I can only assume that there's going to be five French people swarming around this middle point in just a matter of seconds. And here we go. Is Crit Snake going to have this Uber in time, though? It looks like he might do. 91% is what he's stuck at at the moment. He's not healing. 96, 97. And the suicide comes in from Exxon's not going to have any effect, though. And Quarantine is going to push back onto this middle and I think this spells disaster all over the red team. Yeah, big air shot from Salt there isn't enough against an Uber player but Pyogen were just too slow there, just let Quarantine get that Uber up. They didn't want it to wait obviously for the players that were spawning but they could have moved in and taken some position on the point and then popped off the Uber but they allowed them back in and now look at Bule, he's totally separated from his scouts, d has gone down and it looks like Billy gets an Uber <laughs> saw to go to, but then gets finished off by Fu, and that's going to be painful as Crit tonight also went down, or is just respawning? What is going on here, Blades? This is hard to keep track of. Yeah, both scouts actually did try and assassinate Crit tonight, managing to get him, and then after that, Elma had the longest soldier versus scout fight I have ever seen on middle point, while that, all that many gun shenanigans was going on. And it pretty much took, I think it took Elma like 10 shots, and he dodged about 8 rockets, and in the end, the soldier line did end up going down. Uh, but the middle point still uh, in possession of quarantine here. They look quite strong. I mean, the score is still 2-1 to one in favor of them. Did I see a Kritzkrieg? Yeah, I did, actually. Kritz and I is running that Kritzkrieg. So we might just see an unbelievable window of time. Look at how perfectly timed this is. They have about that 10-second window, which you exactly need, as Fuo is going to have to work it up here. He has to land. A, you, you always call it the money sticky, that first sticky. If you land that, it's usually a successful crit. If you don't, you're going to have to try it with rockets. One crit rocket comes in, second crit rocket comes in, Exxon goes down, Salt goes down, and this is a perfectly executed crit screen as it breaks the defense. It's six versus four, now five versus four, with Kuchi going down. If that second scout dies, that is it. Like, there's no way. They don't have enough players anymore. It looks like Zappis does get taken down, so no scouts for quarantine. And Pyrogen going to actually push back quarantine here. But we're back in the same scenario as we were about 30 seconds ago. There's a Crit screen advantage against an uber charge disadvantage. Yeah, and you'd be surprised how easy it is to sort of forget that your opponent is running Crit's Creek in these sort of intense battles where there's a lot going on. Hopefully, Pyrogen are going to raid this. Right now, the position is that of a team that wants to die. They're feeling a little bit suicidal. They've got a real uh, sort of 50 50 chance here if they bomb in and get the medic as the Crit's goes off, but finally, their medic has backed off. Bully going to play a little bit safe. The Crit's does get popped off. But it's already too late, not even a single shot gets that critical hit chance. And Crit tonight's gone down, Fuo's gone down, but it's three against four here in favour of Quarantine. He somehow came out on top. And out comes Bule, Exxon, and is that Salt? Yes, on the oh. Spire, trying to make some big play. Quarantine are throwing everything they can at them, but they just... They're struggling, the Uber's got popped off, there's a scout on the point that needs to be blocked. Oh my oh, god. Oh, Soldier has to jump to block and the other scout comes in and takes out Bully, that's Kochi onto Bully. Such a scrappy game, isn't it, James? It's very much so scrappy, it's very much DM focused. Tactics seems to be thrown out of the window and hey guys, let's just fight. Pretty much the same way they usually do in the boxing ring and we can see that Pyrogen has decided, you know what, we have more players than you. You might have a medic up, but we have more players, let's just go in. Um, Salt, I can advise you not to jump with 92 HP. He's still gonna walk into this middle though. It looks like Exxon and T-Mac have decided it's not worth it, so... Salt is probably going to get taken down. No! Bully actually does manage to find him in time. Crit Knight. Is it still Crit or is it Uber? It is regular Uber actually now. So that uh, Crit Knight Uber is going to come in here in just a matter of seconds. Coming through house. Are they going to go resub? Are they going to go house? They are going to go resub. And let's see if Pyrogen manages to not get caught off. Something which Quarantine did earlier. Uh, it's been called. We see a soldier bomb in there trying to force T Mac Dawes go down. Gets the Uber popped off eventually. But how many players are they going to lose here as the combo of Pyrogen gets forced back to last. Where is everybody else? They're already one player down. Looks like uh, Fuo wants to push here but he realises there's players behind now. 
Critterite takes a lot of damage there, but manages to pick up that med pack in lobby. They're working their way down main here. They're just going to potentially jump in. Stickies are blown though for Exxon. He's trying to do some damage, but they've got no cover on the point. There's a Soto jumping up behind as well. Line jumps up behind, gets the force off. On to Bule, Salt goes down at the same time to Fuo up front, and this Uber is looking like a bit of a fail. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, pretty much the easiest way to describe it. That Uber was a massive fail. Pyrogen really not being able to do anything with that. And now we had Lime respawn in quarantine, pretty much in a driving seat to put this back to a two cap difference once more. As we have the 3-1 to one score line almost on the board here. Quarantine's going to push in. Coming in from this right-hand side, Calho actually jumping in here. I'm going to call forced. him Calho. Uber it is, it's a very early force, isn't it? I, I'm not sure. I don't think Quarantine can actually get all the way in here to last. They're going to try, but they're going to have to force it. They're going to commit to this. They've got their medic in top right right now. Fool there. Prince of thinks he's going to go for the point. Oh, he dies instantly. And his soldier, Lemon, was super weak as well. He got picked off by Exxon and now Pyrogen are looking in a strong position once these spawns come in I fancy they will want to push out sitting on 90% right now only three players alive lines on 50 HP for quarantine they're looking around and trying to check out for this back cap Kochi does get spotted by running directly into them on the balcony that is not advisable Zabas is sniping from Chuck so pretty much no back cap threat here and Pyrogen are getting plenty of cap time on and forcing them back no real sniper angle here as Zabas gets denied does remain alive though so that's going to be playing on their minds they might have to uber in here but fear of that sniper zap is pretty decent yeah they're going to uber in pretty much immediately coming through house usually the way you want to do it when you're facing against a sniper exxon gets one pick already on the soldier from quarantine they're getting a lot of damage done here james oh my god there's a lot of damage but so far not really a lot of casualties just one soldier that is pretty much it the sap is exchanges that frag back they do have an uber advantage here for quarantine let's wait and see what they're going to do with it are they going to play a little bit defensive in fear of the french running in here and trying to kill them or are they going to play a little bit more offensive it looks like they waited for the uber now they're moving forward now we're going to see a house push coming in now from the blue side instead of the red side. Yeah, again, instant uber. They've got the fear of the stickies, I guess, there. But the positioning from Bully is just not good enough. Fu launches forward directly onto him, gets two, three stickies on their line, onto Exxon and Degon. Uh, they just got caught with their pants down. Um, just not good enough, guys. You've got to position yourself a lot better. You know that they have uber, but they just... <sighs> It's just dumb, man. I'm disappointed. I'm shaking my head. This isn't Premier Division play. Face Step it up, I, I think you should face palm, mate. I, I seriously think that deserved a face palm. Is Bully just not in position? As you said, completely out. And uh, he's going to definitely have to step it up if they want to have any chances of actually winning this map. Remember, it's still 2-1. to one, But definitely with Quarantine now once again knocking on Pyrogen's last point. They're going to want to try and make this 3 to 1. Last time around, it didn't go the exact way they planned it to. Right now, with an Uber advantage, I can only assume Alma's going to run the Pyro again. We've seen that multiple times. I'm quite sure he's going to spawn. He's not going to do it, because every time I say something, he doesn't do it. And the Uber comes in, and a couple of frags early get exchanged. And I think Quarantine might have actually... Yeah, they might have definitely secured this. 3 to 1 is going to be the score line. As uh, we're going to have Quarantine taking a two-cap difference once again into their favor. And with only, well, let's see, how much time is there left on the clock? About eight and a half minutes, so a little less than ten minutes, obviously. It's still plenty of enough time for Paragen to pull this back, but time is starting to run out. Yeah, we see Fuel playing from the balcony this time. It's going to be a valley rollout from Quarantine. They're going to try and put some aggression onto the Pyrogen train. They're already working their way through the shithouse. Critonite is opting to push up his own slope with his scouts, but he's facing pressure here from Alma, who is just juking it out between Critonite and Lemon now. He does eventually go down with a little help from Kochi, but this has allowed Pyrogen to pick up some nice position onto the train here. Quarantine are looking like they still want to go for it. They've sent two players in to force them back. I guess the man advantage is just scaring them out there, and probably wisely so, but... They could have risked it, man. They could have tried and dominate it from that high ground, Uber. but they decided they're going to go Uber. back. They realise Kryptonite hasn't been healing for a long time. No, they back out. They could have actually gone in there. I think there was definitely a window where Pyrogen could have went in there. I think Kryptonite was only on like 79, 80% or something like that. And it looks like Pyrogen has decided now or never. We're two caps behind. We need to make something happen. Let's force, run out, and then try and win the skirmish against the Babuli. Look at that. I think he's out of position completely. He's going to get caught off or out of guard. He's not going to die, though. And this is pure deathmatch, Admiral Boss. We see a 4 for 2 exchange coming out. 
out from the French team. A very nice, nice, nicely done exchange as they pick up four frags against the two for quarantine. Like Exxon jumping for the medic, crit slides one sticky away from certain death, but he manages to dodge that second one. And Exxon's gonna run out of there with the tail between his legs, but he's now already jumping onto the spire. Is quarantine gonna be in any sort of state of mind to defend this? It looks like they want to try, but do they have the manpower to make this work? Yeah, no uber charge for either team, and a very timely backcap comes in from Zappa, showing his years of experience there. Excellent timing, forcing Pyrogen back to make sure they don't lose that middle point. But he's also buying his team vital seconds to get that uber charge up, stalling that push from Pyrogen sitting on 100% quarantine, sitting on 80 on that left side, but Pyrogen aren't getting onto the medic, they're for putting their heavies up on the spire when they really need to be attacking the enemy combo. They do get Lemon and Zappas though, those are important frags, but the ubers have been traded now. Quarantine are sort of stranded in no man's land here. Kryptonite is unlikely to make it out alive. But, wow, T Mac onto Lime on the flank. Now Pyrogen are in the lobby. They're behind them. They've got them encircled. They're going to tighten the noose right now and try and get some big frag. They've got a scout get out on Spire, but Kochi with a big meat shot onto D Gun. And it looks like superior deathmatch from Quarantine in this uh, little engagement might just work out okay for them. Bully is stranded, finally gets his Devilman X on there, but he can't land a single pipe onto the scouts of Quarantine, who were totally instrumental throughout that whole passage of play with the back halves, the Spire denials. Big plays! Yeah, very big plays coming out from Quarantine, and it might actually save him this map. Once again, it's a 3-1 to scoreline. There's not a lot of time left on the clock, and especially for Power Gen now, the time is starting to tick away. And Quarantine is going to happily say, we don't really mind. We're going to play this as safe as we possibly can, while trying to push on as much as possible. Kucha definitely dodging a lot of stuff there. He is going to get taken down, though, barely in the end. And this 6 versus 5, there's no Uber for either team. I, I'm fancying the red team actually getting through this choke, maybe through the resup and just making plays here, Admirable. Yeah, Pyrogen are going for it. They realise there's only five minutes left and they're two rounds down. Big bomb in from X on, onto the Spire doing damage onto all and sundry who are on the floor there. Fuyo slightly separated from his medic in danger of getting picked off as we see T-Mag bomb in and land a few rockets on him. Is Salt going to follow up? Does get that demo man picked and that is going to make it a lot harder for Quarantine to defend the Spire but it looks like they want to try anyway. Lemon peeks out but decides to go back. No stickies. Here for quarantine means that Pyrogen can make some very aggressive plays for the point, but that window is closing as Fuel's about to spawn in one second. They're going for it though, the Uber comes in and Bully might be able to milk it here for a few seconds. He does, but he's already lost three players. They're going to continue to go for this, but this is totally, totally oh. the wrong move. Exxon, Exxon gets a double, he's not going to be able to get any more though. And so he can see a random putt from him, he's going to take two down. I'm... I'm Having the idea that Pyrogen is probably just going to rush this though, still Kuiche and Lemon both, and Lemon is actually Calho, uh, both of these players are still going to be down for five seconds. It looks like Bully and the rest of his team are going to be able to just build that Uber here. It's going to take them a long time to get this Uber though, and even then, Quarantine is going to have to Uber as well, so it's going to take a long time to cap this last point. And even if they do, it's still going to be a very, very long time before they eventually make it a 3-3. Three Salt, three. Salt and Spy is going to go for that back cap. The I'm gonna point see is so so closely so closely capped. He's just running directly uh, onto the point. He gets he catches out a rocket. Just random spam. Walks <laughs> walk straight out of rocket launcher, and that spy back cap is probably not gonna happen. See Zappas is running sniper at this moment in time. We're just waiting for the inevitable moment that Pyrogen is gonna hit this Uber. The red team's gonna have to try and get here until last. Quarantine gonna have to try and defend this. Remember, this three to one is the scoreline in favor of the blue team. Quarantine. We have about three minutes left on the clock. That's not a lot of time, but it is still possible. The Ubers get exchanged. Quarantine all dropping to the floor, Admiral. Well, this might spell complete disaster if they don't get a lot of frags for Pyrogen. It's still fine. It's still fine so far. I'm sure Exxon is still around, and it looks like Exxon's getting a lot of picks. He is going to get taken down, though. Is Bully going to be able to do it on his own? No, he does not. As I think Pyrogen got a little impatient there during that push. Yeah, they really tried to play for the point. I mean, the timer had run down quite a bit. It wasn't as capped as it was. But they Ubered two scouts in from me and they tried to assassinate that soldier on the point. But Kryptonite was just about quick enough to flash him with the Uber. And, like, they basically wasted their Uber for a play on the point, having done no real damage. And so there was four other quarantine players just waiting there to clean up. And the clean up they did. Two and a half minutes left on the clock. Time is now really starting to tick away. As uh, with two and a half minutes left on the clock, fast as you can cap around is about a minute. 
Obviously, I think you yeah, guys uh, are, as be are, are better mathematicians than I am, so you can definitely see how that's going to be a problem for the team in red. It looks like right now their, their DM skills are not up to par anymore. I think they've kind of lost it into their communication as well. They're sort of going in as a little bit of a decimation move, but right now, at this moment in time, I'd already be very frank to call GG. Yeah, two minutes left on the clock, and quarantine about to... Cut that middle point. Two players have respawned. It is Alma and Salt, but right now they're probably just thinking, yeah, let's go on to Snake War. This is over, man. Yeah, there's, there's pretty much no way anymore. There's 1 minute 40 seconds left on the clock with quarantine capping the Spire. That is pretty much going to put a nail on the cover. We see Run Roaming Bomb coming in onto Crit tonight, but Salt's not going to be able to manage to make it work. 12 HP on Crit I think I've seen Crit tonight below 10 HP about four times this map and not dying. Um, so fantastic work from him, or awful work from the Power Gem Roamers. Uh, I think either one is uh, is pretty much going to be correct there, as we can see Crit tonight and the rest of his team probably even going to push this out for a 4-1 to scoreline. They might as well. These are two contenders. Both of these teams are definitely going to be contenders for about the same spot, so we'll have to wait and see. Is this cap difference going to make a difference? As Lemon comes in up top, kills Exxon immediately. They've learned from the previous engagement that yes, they are going to cap it. So we're going to see 4-1 to one is the official scoreline here as Quarantine is going to cap it off. And we were pretty much both wrong, Admirable. We both said Pyrogen has an edge, and they just messed it up completely. I think they, they played wrong a couple of times. Yeah, part of it might be that D-Gun is playing tonight. I think Gladio is usually the main scout, although I don't know that for sure. Someone in IRC or chat is, can tell me. Is, yeah, yeah. So that might be uh, something to factor in here, but really, Quarantine just outplayed them. Like, big performances there from Zappos and Fu, I think. Even Kochi doing a lot of damage. Actually, it was a really solid all round from Quarantine. But there, were, there were no bad players on their lineup. Like, no one had a bad game. I think everyone played perfectly fine. Crits Knight stayed alive pretty much forever. And uh, Pyrogen just kind of, I don't know, they, they couldn't deal with it. Yeah, right from the start, they were behind. And I don't just mean that they um, lost uh, that first round. They just always seemed to be... Uh, a player down and trying to make something happen whenever they have six up or just maybe a, a little overconfident or thought they were going to smash yeah. Quarantine like I guess we thought they were but really Quarantine just showing their experience and really seem to be hitting their groove now with Kochi they've got something going on there now so yeah going on to the second map I'd have to fancy yep. Quarantine